This week on Just the Tips, we're talking next level tips and tricks with the control pad. In case you haven't noticed, we've been hyping up the control pad like crazy lately. But I mean, can you blame us? This sucker can change the way you interact with games, applications, and even people. But with all that's been said, we've only even scratched the surface of what you can do with the control pad. And thanks to the aimpad tech, the sky's the limit. Here's just some next level techniques to get started and make your life easier. Number one, dual actions. Now that might sound pretty darn vague, but with the control pad, you can essentially map two different functions onto one key. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't we call it two actions, one key? Thanks to analog tech, we can assign one action to a half press and another unique action to the bottomed out full press. Now this might seem like not that big of a deal, but it can do wonders for your efficiency in certain games. Think about MOBAs, where you have one button to show the trajectory or AOE of an ability and another button to actually execute that ability. Combining them into one fluid press of the key can free up your fingers and improve reactions on the battlefield. Number two, scroll wheel spam. The control pad is outfitted with two precision wheels that can be remapped to other in-game controls. Now in other peripherals, those have mainly been used to adjust system settings. On the control pad, we can use it to spam certain actions or buttons with a simple spin of the wheel. This is perfect for games that require mass repetitive button mashing or actions, like those annoying QTEs that for some reason are still in video games now despite 90% of all gamers hating them with a burning fiery passion. Woo, sorry, <laughs> got a little heated there. Number three, analog lean. We love cover-based shooters, but we really can't stand how cover mechanics work in most games. It's all or nothing. Turtle up like a wimp or expose yourself to a rain of bullets and death. Enter the control pad. By assigning your leans to the hold or toggle of a key, you can use the movement keys to make gradual leans in every direction. Poke your head out completely to unleash hell, go prone under heavy fire, and everything in between. It truly does change the way you play horror games, action games, and any others that require smart use of cover. Number four, using the control pad as a launch pad. It's still early, but our engineers have found a pretty cool use for the control pad outside of gaming the ability to assign specific programs and games to each key. With a couple tweaks and program installs, we've found that we can open Photoshop, Steam, Word, Excel, etc., etc., by simply pressing buttons on the control pad. There is so much potential for other things too. Set keys to take a screenshot, assign some to specific browser tabs, hit one for instant incognito mode. This really is the tip of the analog iceberg. If you've been tinkering with the control pad and have found a cool use for it, let us know in the comments below or post it in our subreddit for that sweet, sweet karma. So that's that. Like if you liked, follow, hit that bell so you can see me on the weekly. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to drop us a line below. And until next time, catch you on the tip side.